Time for my 43rd John Carpenter game. Let's be in the uh, the family entertainment edition for the DVD. Select the difficulty and category of questions you'd like to. Let's stick to the entertainment, Chris. Great, you're having a go at the entertainment questions. Fifteen of them stand between you and a virtual million pounds. The first five of those questions can bank you a guaranteed thousand pounds. Okay. Take a look at question number one. Rahana The part of a theater which the audience sits is also known as what? The flat, the bungalow, the apartment, the house. That'd be the house. Well done, you got the right answer. Two hundred pounds if you can get it right. For two and a quid. What name is given to a TV program that is a tryout for a series? Pilot, stewardess, passenger, navigator. That'd be a pilot. Well done, two out of two for you. Now you've not used any lifelines, so they are still all available if you need them on this 300 pound question. For 300 quid. Who's the actor on the left? Michael Ball? William Shatner, Kurt Russell, Michael Crawford. That'd be uh, Michael Crawford on the far left. Oh God, you won the only one that hadn't looked at a picture of is uh, Michael Ball. Let's get you up to £500 with question number four. For 500 quid. Most open all hours in Ronnie Barker's classic sitcom Grocery Shop, Police Station, Church, School. That'd be the grocery shop. Well, I'm not sure Ryan Barker was one of the uh, people in the film show, uh, the two Ronnies, I believe. You can guarantee yourself £1,000 if you can answer this question. For a thousand quid. Kvir Alexei Saar was born in which city? Liverpool, Nordicom, Birmingham, Newcastle. He was born in Liverpool. You had 500 pounds. You now have 1,000 pounds. It's the right answer. That's what I like to see. Five correct answers and 1,000 pounds safely in the bank. This is where things hot up a little bit, though, as we try and turn that 1,000 pounds into at least 32,000. Here comes question number six. Now, remember... You still have all three lifelines remaining. For £2,000. What name is given to the detective in the 1988 film Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Ned Bold, Donnie Daring, Sam Metal, Eddie Valiant. That'd be Eddie Valiant. You have I'm to be confused with the uh, Valiant, with the wrestling trio, the Valiant Brothers, which wrestled back to the 70s and the 80s in the uh, WWF. Well You've yet to touch any of your three lifelines, and the correct answer here will win you £4,000. Lots of luck. Here comes the question. <sighs> For £4,000. Which console was released by this company in 2001? Xbox? Dreamcast? PS2? GameCube? Microsoft did the Xbox, Sega did the Dreamcast, PlayStation the PS2, but Nintendo did the GameCube. Yeah. Speaking of PS2, I'm actually playing this on a uh, PS4 actually, with the region changed to region 2 instead of region 1, so... I guess you could say I'm expressing my uh, patriotism up here, but... The halfway point is game. Which of these is not one of the Carry On films? Carry On Cappy? Carry On Nurse? Carry On Dick? Carry On Private? That'd be Carry On Private. Okay, you risked £3,000 and you were right to risk it. You now have. Yeah, here's a similar question. I think the real cash is about. It's concerning Jones Sims of which security should she not play in Carry On, which that one is believed is. Uh, that's the honey, but which uh, 
Harper Winter, who knows, played uh, Peggy Mitchell on EastEnders, uh, played Daphne Honeybutt. I know I'm expressing my knowledge here, but it's kind of necessary, I guess you could say. Okay, for 16000 which actor directed the 1994 drama Quiz Show? Robert De Niro, Dustin Hoffman, Clint Eastwood, Robert Redford. That being Robert Redford. Okay, so I was wondering what push was about. Was about um, a show called Twenty One, which aired back in the uh, mid to late fifties. That, which put it bluntly, was scripted that way they could get high ratings. They found wrestling only this time was for game shows, not wrestling. And this led to the whole thing where you know, they basically asked you know, you will not disclose any information about the game shows. I know. Yeah, Twenty One aired from fifty six to fifty eight, I believe. Which had a revival more Povich, I believe. Anyways, for 32,000. And they have the left form which band in 1995? Sonic Youth, The Strokes, The Foo Fighters, Soundgarden. That'd be The Foo Fighters. Well, this is a massive moment. If the answer you've given me is right, you'll have guaranteed yourself 32,000. And it is Mr. And the battle of right is, I believe, uh, Dave Pro, who was the drummer for both uh, Nirvana and the Foo Fighters. Later, he'd be part of the super group uh, Them Crooked Vultures with uh, bassist John Paul Jones from Led Zeppelin. Be okay. For 64000 in Mozart opera, who has a servant called Le Perello? Giovino? Doña Elvira? Don Giovanni? What do you know? To be Don Giovanni? <laughs> Giovanni? Giovanni who? Giovanni how you play for Colonel Lord? That's a quote from uh, Mario's Game Guy when someone is pretty lazy at the game. Like, they don't, and they don't do it at the right instant, so. Okay. £125,000. It's a lot of money, and it's what I could be giving you if you can give me the right answer to the next question. You do stand to lose the £32,000 you have just won if you do give me a wrong answer, though, at this point. Here comes question number one. Okay. For £125,000. In which film does the man in love play a celebrity chef? Anger Management? Little Nicky? Spanglish, Mr. Deeds. Now, I'm sorry, place a chef in Spanglish. It's not often people get to play this question. You could be about to lose £32,000. Of course, you could be about to win £125,000. And you had. It's the right answer. Yeah, it's a picture of my sound with uh, Jack Nicholson on the far right. I know it was Little Nicky because he played, I believe he played a dad with a five year old Little Nicky. Of course, his granddad, the dad being a Satan in the film. You're about to lose ninety-three thousand pounds. If you give me the wrong answer to this question, if you give me a correct answer, you'll win a quarter of a million pounds. Now, I would much rather that happen. The very best of luck to you. Let's have a look at question number thirteen of a possible fifteen. For a quarter of a million, which nationality is the pianist Richard Kleiderman? French, German, Austrian, Swiss. He's a French pianist. You could be about to become a quarter of a millionaire. Or of course you could be about to lose £93,000. You've just given me the right answer. Terrific. You could now go all the way. <sighs> State was the sole born Louisiana, Arkansas, Alabama, 
South Carolina. James Brown was born in South Carolina. You just risked two hundred and eighteen thousand pounds. You had a quarter of a million. <sighs> Half a million. Amazing. You are one of our biggest. Yeah, there's a arena near uh, the Augusta National Golf Course called the uh, James Brown Arena, which. I only remember because it was a disastrous uh, seven December paper between 2006. Well, I'm not sure I've ever asked someone. Yes, for people to thought, Chris. Yes, for people to thought. All of their lifetime. But you do now have a real chance to take out the million. And you might as well take advantage of the lifeline situation, even if you are sure you might. <sighs> Let's hope in just a few moments' time we will all be celebrating. Here comes your 15th and final question. Mr. Tart, you do the honors. What was the name of the series of children's books this man wrote in the 1980s? The Menins, Goggle Eyes, The Woofits, The Owl Sons. Michael Packerton, The Woofits. Amazingly, you have decided to play the million pound question now. You could have walked away with half a million pounds, but instead you are walking away with one million pounds. <laughs> you know that that is absolutely well done. Not only have you won a million, you've also got the chance to enter a draw to win a fantastic, all expensive paid family holiday. Just text the winning code. The number on your screen. Never one in the books. Very well done, and thanks for playing the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Yeah, when people play this game, when they do the adult entertainment, you just get one bedroom the only picture or the Emmerdale Farm question. I never have had to give you know, the James Brown question or the Below question more often. Not. Maybe a Wailina or the Tempest question often, but. Hey, as an American, I'd be like, he can't get the first roll of the treatment. He may as well get different questions. Which I just happen to know from watching ever other YouTubers. Or just happen to know from pure luck. Got the, uh, Macrovision logo there. Which is only in the 4th edition game. So the 5th edition, it sends you straight to the, uh, maybe. Unless you do a multiplier, which has that unique summary idea. Anyways, thanks for.